अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय YouTube चैनल लाइक जॉइन फार्मेसी हां यस एज यूजुअल इन यस्टरडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैथोजेनेसिस ओके ऑफ द डिजीज दैट इज वी डिस्कस अबाउट डायबिटीज देन वी डिस्कस अबाउट अस्थमा देन वी कम अक्रॉस द पार्किंसन देन हियर वी गो टू द ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस देन एज व्हाट इट नाउ द रिमेनिंग फाइव विल बी डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर so if you are new to the channel it's my request to you all my dear brothers and my dear sister please subscribe my channel and one more very important and good news i want to give you from tomorrow itself i will start the third semester third semester lectures with the notes okay inshallah i will uh, i will do all the lectures of your subject basically in third semester there are four subject okay four subject that is uh, physical pharmaceutics then pharmaceutical microbiology then uh, pharmaceutical engineering pharmaceutical engineering then pharmaceutical organic chemistry 2 okay and uh, inshallah in tomorrow's class i will be adding that uh, syllabus for this uh, third semester of your b pharmacy okay which topics should be covered and uh, which a uh, subject uh, what subject uh, which matter is consisting of in that subject okay inshallah in tomorrow's class i will uh, make a video on that syllabus of your third semester b pharmacy from day after uh, tomorrow we will, i will start about the lecture got it i will start about the lecture with the notes and uh, these uh, series will be the best uh, series okay wherever you go to the youtube uh, wherever when uh, whichever channel you select you look that channel my dear brothers and sisters uh, uh, the notes which i had preparing no wealth the other notes will give you okay so clear your doubts now itself uh, now just practice this what i am giving if you practice this what i am giving you 110% you will pass my dear brothers and sisters and one more thing many subscribers are uh, telling me sir i am panic means tension because of the examination my dear brothers and my dear brothers, sisters so if you take tension means is there any chance of pass the examination you tell me one thing if you take tension or if you got panic means is there any chance to you to pass your examination no my dear brothers and sisters you just remove that panic that tension everything you remove that all you just read whatever you know just go to the examination hall and sit and write whatever you know you don't think about that uh, the question which they ask if you are feeling panic or if you are feeling tension means you go to the examination hall first just read the question paper blindly blindly be quiet and just write whatever you know that's the trick because uh, i know i know yes you your attention is uh, if, uh, your attention must be because uh, the examinations are very close because they given 3 to 4 months not only 3 uh, uh, two two and half to 3 months okay some university colleges and some colleges have completed the chapters some are not i know that all i know that all misfunctions have been done by by means of college i will not tell the uh, there will be full of mistakes of the colleges and there will be full of mistake of the universities no i will not tell that because of uh, this uh, pandemic uh, everything got uh, back forwarded everything the step has been passed so for that reason my dear brothers and sisters you don't worry you just write whatever you want uh, and uh, i have made the videos on very very important questions now also the time is there you start reading the hard work you do hard work from today itself inshallah you will be completed your everything concepts okay if you want any help means ask for me inshallah i will help you i will help you okay i will give you my whatsapp number here down then you contact through my whatsapp number you can whatsapp me your doubts inshallah i will come through that doubts yes, so let's start pathogenesis of the alzheimer disease don't miss it tomorrow's lecture a very important third semester b pharmacy what it hmm. now here alzheimer disease as you all know that is a central nervous system disorder disease your first pathogen what happens damage in the brain cells usually this disease causes to damages in the brain cell that leads to neurofibrillary tangles neurofibrillary tangles means these are tangle like structure as you observe the kurkure the tangles kurkure the tangles hmm. in our brain cells what happens the neurons get turned to this fibrillary tangles okay after damage of the brain cells then these uh, basically what happen these uh, tangles or the brain cell will store the nutrients and other important things but due to the alzheimer disease what happens they fails and unable to store the nutrients 
and they are unable to excrete the some of the waste materials from these uh, brain cells okay basically the cerebrospinal fluid will re release the waste materials but due to the damage of the brain these all functions will be absorbed due to that what happened the beta amyloid plaques are absorbed these are sticky protein clumps my dear brothers and sisters due to the unable storage of the nutrients uh, food material then what happens there will be deposition of these beta amyloid plaques okay plaques these are the sticky protein clumps due to this what happen build up between the nerve cells okay they start building in the nerve cells and the damage is the healthy brain cells absolutely if one cell get damage means uh, it will be proliferate to the other cells also it will damage the other cells also then that cells will die and the brain shrinks okay if the cell dies means uh, dies means continuous the cell die of the brain cell brain cell uh, especially what happen the brain will be shrinks do the shrinking of the brain that leads to memory loss speech problem some of the confusion or uh, some of the convulsions in the brain okay convulsions hallucinations these are the some causes or some of the symptoms of this pathogenesis of alzheimer you got this don't worry i had uploaded the notes of this and yesterday's which lecture i had made no that also i had uploaded my dear brothers and sisters yes, so let's see the next pathogenesis that is of goiter goiter it is the inflammatory disease okay goiter it is a inflammatory disease means inflammation of your thyroid glands thyroid glands see here deficiency of iodine iodine it is a salt iodine it is a salt okay if a deficiency in this iodine that leads to goiter and autoimmune diseases that leads to decrease in the t3 and t4 cells that is the triiodothyroxine and the thyroxine these are very important cells okay which will maintain your metabolic rates which will maintain the calcium level which will maintain the other types of the metabolic uh, 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 me uh, metabolic rates like protein metabolism carbohydrate metabolism calcium metabolism all are maintained by these t3 and t4 cells yes absolutely what happens uh, these decrease in t3 and t4 cells what they will cause the inflammation inflammation nodular inflammation then they further cause uh, nodules nodular inflammation means uh, here see this is the trachea down to the trachea there will be inflammation okay that inflammation if it not treated means it will turns to nodules nodule like structures okay basically these are thyroid okay occurs or absorbs in the women you are absorbing in the women okay just inflammation in the next side next side inflammation is nothing but this thyroid hyperthyroidism goiter got it why this is due to the decrease in the your hormones that is a triiodothyroxine and a thyroxine or tetraiodothyroxine inflammation further inflammation not nodular inflammation that excess protein deposition means due to the inflammation nodular inflammation there what happens uh, due to some of the um, anti inflammatory agents will attack with these uh, nodular inflammatory cells and they cause the protein deposition that complicates to some of the other diseases like cardiac disease infertility depression anxiety these all are the some complication okay these is the pathogenesis of the goiter now let's move towards the pathogenesis of the schizophrenia as usual schizophrenia it is also a type of the central nervous system disorder or nervous system disorder here it is caused by means of a genetic and also environmental factor you remember one thing my dear brothers and sisters all nervous system disorder or all central nervous system disorder the causes are idiopathic the pathogenesis are idiopathic idiopathic means unknown causes unknown pathogenesis just by experiencing we are writing this got it here due to schizophrenia what happens imbalance of the certain chemicals in the brain as we are observing there are many chemicals like dopamine acetylcholine noradrenaline these all are the chemicals present in the brain due to the schizophrenia what happens these chemicals but fluctuates or imbalance okay due to that imbalance of dopamine neurotransmitter dopamine it is a type of the neurotransmitter which helps to maintain the body movement proper body movement and also the signals for the body language problem that all maintained by this dopamine okay decrease uh, in this dopamine which help the send to proper brain signal decrease to send proper brain signal why means this is because of uh, imbalance in dopamine transmitter neurotransmitter okay due to the decrease in neurotransmitter which one dopamine neurotransmitter there will be decrease in the proper signal okay that leads to improper language thinking problem hallucinations accepting false as a true got it some of the improper 
language using the rough language okay if the patient is suffering from this schizophrenia means basically what happens uh, he will rise his bp will be rise unfortunately for 2 to 3 seconds okay why because of excitations of the brain cell imbalance of the dopamine neurotransmitter in the brain causes this type of a uh, behavior characteristic what it yes my dear brothers and sisters let's move towards the pathogenesis of the inflammatory bowel disease yes inflammatory bowel disease is here just in the name itself it is indicated bowel disease means these are the disease of the stool it is a large intestine mainly bowel disease means large intestine or rectum anal diseases due to the inflammation in the annals or rectum or in the intestine this uh, diseases will be occurs that is bowel disease basically the main symptom of this inflammatory bowel disease is diarrhea if he or she is suffering from this inflammatory bowel disease means he or she will be continuous uh, excreting ammonia waste urea continuous ammonia waste will be excreted okay by means of waste products through the anus diarrhea continuous diarrhea diarrhea okay yes why because of this inflammatory bowel disease just let's start the pathogenesis see here uh, uh, crohn's disease crohn's disease and ulcer related to colitis ulcers formation of ulcers and crohn's disease the formation of ulcers over the rectum vagina and large intestine the initial pathogenesis of this is the formation of the ulcers who where over the rectum or over the vagina over the large intestine okay, will cause us here will what uh, further the cause of the scaring on gut scaring scaring on gut walls okay scaring on gut walls means here these are the gut walls just imagine gut walls what happens on the gut walls there are scary patches over the gut walls these will activates the cd4 plus t cells t helper cells cd4 plus t helpers uh, helper cells these cd4 plus t helper cell these are the inflammatory cell these will be fight against these scary scaring scary cells on the gut walls and cause the inflammation this is your topic inflammation then cytokinesis suppress this inflammation cytokinesis again they suppress this inflammation again further activation of these which one cd4 plus t cell and some of the other inflammatory cells like interleukin 4 interleukin 5 tumor necrosis factor alpha these all what they will do they proceed the further inflammation that leads to uh, lymph edema lymph edema means uh, edema means inflammation in the lymph nodes and a thickening of thickening of that bowel wall due to the thickening of the bowel wall what happens uh, the patient he or she is suffering from the severe bowel pain he or she is continuous excreting the ammonia product waste product okay continuous so this is a simple pathogenesis of the inflammatory bowel disease okay, if you are feeling any difficulties means you can contact me you can contact me through the whatsapp and also you can comment me in the comment section you don't worry about that yes then pathogenesis of the stroke see a uh, pathogenesis of the stroke a simple pathogenesis as is well stroke what happens uh, stroke it is the brain disease it is also a type of uh, neural dis- disorder neural disease here what happens uh, stroke due to the energy failure acidosis or the free radicals there will be induced brain injury due to the free radicals like uh, sulfur free radical oxygen type of free radicals they what happens they increases the brain injury that brain injury leads to ischemic stroke brain injury leads to ischemic stroke here ischemic stroke nothing but uh, what happens uh, your brain doesn't get the sufficient amount of blood to the brain cells that leads to stroke ischemic stroke okay ischemic stroke that ischemic stroke on further leads to apoptosis 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 is some simple remember it is the um, functional to death of the brain cells means prepared death for the brain cells this apoptosis ischemic stroke now for an example you just remember if one cell get damage means the the remaining cells also start damage that is nothing but apoptosis and this apoptosis is a reversible process it can be returned to its a normal position don't worry but you have to maintain this then after this what happen generation of the neural apoptosis neural apoptosis get generates then due to this impairment of transport of the glucose atps glutamate due to this uh, improper transport of the glucose atps glutamate there will be activation of inflammatory cells 
one point is common in every pathogen is you write inflammatory cells or you write uh, uh, immune cells inflammatory uh, cells uh, start accumulation of the leukocytes accumulation of the leukocytes this activate the microglial cells microglial cells the function of the microglial cells is they just look after the pathogens in the brain and they start killing them that also leads to some of the further inflammation in the brain and it leads to the some of the ischemic stroke got it yes, this is the some basic pathogenesis of the stroke my dear brothers and sisters Yes, these are the 10 very, 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 very infinite, very important pathogenesis. Okay, still 4 are there pathogenesis, but I don't make a video on that. But with this, I will upload in the description some um, like uh, hi hypertension. Hypertension is there. Some 3 to 4 pathogenesis are there. If you clear all the pathogenesis means absolutely you will score 25 marks only in pathogenesis. Okay. Remaining 10 marks you can score from where? From 2 marks. Okay, and remaining 5 to 6 marks you will score from the 5 marks. 25 plus 10, 35. 35 plus 10, 40. 40 plus 6, 46. Your pathophysiology subject will be passed like a flying color. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, this is today's concept. Yes, like this way we are uploading the concept, uploading very very important questions, syllabus, lectures, which notes. If you like this video, then share the video with your friends, with your cousins. Then, thank you. Assalamu alaikum.